They are some of the most famous words in history, and they were spoken by Neil Armstrong. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Armstrong was the first human being to set foot on the moon, July 20th, 1969. A fellow astronaut said there was no better choice to lead the dangerous mission. Throughout his life, Armstrong showed nerves of steel, never losing his cool under fire. Born near Wapakoneta, Ohio in 1930, Armstrong was always a daredevil. A decorated combat naval pilot during the Korean War, he then became a test pilot, flying some of the hottest airplanes, including the X-15 rocket, an experimental aircraft that reached the edge of space. He was selected as an astronaut in 1962. His trademark coolness became apparent during his first space flight in 1966 aboard Gemini 8. The mission almost ended in disaster when a thruster stuck open, sending the spacecraft into a dizzying spin. Armstrong kept his head and used a backup system to stop the motion and made an emergency landing in the Pacific. He had another brush with death when training for the moon landing. While learning to fly the lunar module that would make the descent to the moon, the vehicle rolled to its side and he saved himself by ejecting just 200 feet above the ground. NASA knew it had a man who could handle the dangers of a flight to the moon. On July 16, 1969, Apollo 11 blasted off, carrying Armstrong and crewmates Buzz Aldrin and Mike Collins. Armstrong later said the best part for him was the actual moon landing when he maneuvered the lunar module around craters and boulders. Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. An intensely private person, Armstrong enjoyed the acclaim following the historic flight, but only rarely talked about it, though he had some words at a celebration to mark its 30th anniversary. In my own view, the important achievement of, of Apollo was a demonstration that humanity is not forever chained to this planet. Armstrong left NASA a few years after the flight, but he remained involved in the space program and an active pilot, a top gun, in America's exploration of outer space. Randall Pinkston, CBS News.